What's up you guys, Chef Billy Parisi here, and today I'm gonna to be making a classic, authentic Italian lasagna. You are gonna love this recipe. So classic Italian authentic lasagna is probably not what you're used to. I bet you have the, you know, pre-made boiled lasagna noodles, the ricotta and the egg mixture. Man, it is not that, it is so much simpler than that. In fact, if you were in Italy, and go into those very authentic places would probably be known as lasagna alla bolognese, which is literally the bolognese sauce. You're gonna make a bechamel, homemade noodles. It's so simple. It is a bit of a labor of love. I'm gonna warn you guys, but this is serious. It's the best lasagna you're ever gonna eat. I don't care what you say. It is straight from the motherland. I'm Italian or Sicilian rather, but it is straight from Italy. You're gonna love it. Here we go, we're gonna start by making that bolognese sauce. So in a food processor, we're gonna add in some peeled, roughly chopped yellow onions, some peeled, roughly chopped carrots, some roughly chopped celery, a few garlic cloves. What we're gonna do is pulse this together until it becomes finely, finely chopped. Next, head over to a large pot over high heat. What we wanna do is add in some olive oil, we're next gonna add in all these delicious vegetables. We just wanna sweat them. So think eh, four to six minutes. At this point, what we wanna do is add in some ground pork, followed up by adding in some ground beef. We wanna cook this together until the meat is browned and completely cooked through. And once it is at this point, we're gonna add in a little bit of white wine. I'm using Chardonnay. You wanna just cook this until it's reduced in half, the liquid is reduced in half. And now what we're gonna do is add in some crushed canned tomatoes. We're gonna stir that in, finish it off simply with sea salt, fresh, cracked, black pepper. Boom, we are done, that's it. That is all there is to a delicious bolognese sauce. Now let's get back over to that sort of center island and we're gonna make homemade pasta. If you've ever been to my site, billyparisi.com, you can see I've made homemade pasta a bazillion times. So I'm gonna try to fly through this so we can get through this without it being 25 minutes long. So to make homemade pasta, I'm gonna do a little shortcut. We're going in the food processor. I've got some semolina flour we're gonna add into there. Next, we're simply gonna add in our eggs. Of course, we're gonna need some sea salt. Now what you wanna do is add the top on and then pulse it until big clumps of dough are forming. If you notice it's real gritty like sand, you're gonna need a little bit more water. Or if it's wet and it's just, just slovenly, just nasty, you're gonna add a little bit more flour to that. Now head over to a clean surface. This is the most important part of making pasta. You have to knead it. And when you think you're done kneading, spend five more minutes to knead a little bit more. It is literally this crucial to making sure your pasta is perfect. So after you've kneaded for about eight to 12 minutes, I'm simply gonna put it in a little plastic bag. We're gonna rest the dough in the refrigerator for about 20 to 25 minutes. But look, this is great timing because we're gonna make that bechamel sauce. Bechamel is one of the original five mother sauces and it's incredibly easy to make. So go ahead and add some milk to a large pot over medium heat. We wanna just make sure it's warm and then go over to a saute pan or medium saucepan, whatever is fine, over medium heat, add in some butter. Just as soon as it is melted, we're gonna add in some flour. We wanna whisk this together, and this is going to make a roux, which is gonna help thicken our milk. We're gonna cook this for about two to three minutes on low to medium heat, and then we simply add it into the milk a little bit at a time until the milk becomes very thick. Think Alfredo sauce. Whisk it, it's gonna take about 10 minutes to cook or so on low medium heat. And then to know when it's done, you want it to be nappe. So coat the back of a spoon, and if you can run your finger right through it and the sauce doesn't run through that little area that you put your finger through, you know you're good. Great. Finish off our wonderful bechamel with sea salt, a little bit of fresh cracked black pepper, and then last but not least, some nutmeg. Go ahead and give it a few whisks, set it to the side, keep it warm. Boom, our pasta is done resting in the refrigerator. Let's bring out that dough and start making it. Now, because lasagna noodles are sort of big, oddly shaped, I'm not here to be a teacher or a culinary professor to look over your shoulder to make sure these things are perfect because you know what? Mine aren't going to be perfect either. The point is we wanna cover that big 
beautiful casserole dish. And I honestly, if you got to piece some things together, it's totally fine with me. Do not stress yourself out because you're still making homemade pasta, which is going to take significantly better, taste significantly better than uh, what you're going to get at the store. So follow along. I usually like to cut the dough up into thirds and then I sort of work it a little bit, flatten it out a tad bit, dust each side with a little bit of flour. And then if you're rolling this out by hand, I usually set it on the zero dial and run it through three times, maybe even four times, just to sort of get it moving. Next, I'll sort of crank it up to the number four setting. I run that through twice. You can see it starts getting thinner. And then that final setting is number six. I only run it through one time. You can see the dough is nice and thin and absolutely perfect. Let's go ahead and set this to the side on a clean surface. Dust the tops and the bottom with flour. Repeat this process completely until all of the dough is used up. Once it is at this point, we need to cut it. I honestly am cutting these about, eh, we got some big fat ones, so we are gonna leave those alone, and we're gonna cut them about eight or nine inches in length all the way down. And then for the other pieces of noodles, we need to fill that rest of the third of the pan because the two thirds were done with that other side. So in the same way, just cut them about eight or nine inches in length, trim it up if you feel like it's too wide. Honestly, we don't need to be perfect here. I promise you're gonna be okay. Now we need to parboil these in a large pot of boiling salted water. Don't cook these all at one time. Cook about six to seven noodle pieces at a time, only for about 20 to 30 seconds. Take them out and honestly just set them on a clean kitchen towel. This will help so they don't stick and you'll be able to form our beautiful lasagna in our casserole dish with ease. All right, you guys, it is assembly time. I know it has been a labor of love, but you are going to be in awe at how amazing this is. So in a very large casserole dish, we're going to add a little bit of the bechamel towards the bottom, spread it around using the backside of that ladle. Next, add on just a little bit of our bolognese meat sauce. Just a tad. We're not going crazy here, OK? Now we're going to add on that big sheet of lasagna noodle. We're gonna add on the smaller sheet of lasagna noodle to the other third of the pan so it completely covers what we just put in the bottom. Then we wanna repeat that process. Add a little bit of bechamel all over the tops of the noodles. Followed up by adding on the bolognese all over top of the noodles. And then for a little bit of flavor, I'm not using ricotta here, but I am gonna add in some mozzarella cheese that's shredded. Then a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Boom, layer one is done. Repeat this process six and up to seven more times. So we have eight total layers of lasagna. This is gonna be amazing. So once you get to that final layer of noodles, I hope you've saved plenty of bechamel and bolognese sauce, because what we wanna do is use a lot of that over the top. So add on our bechamel, spread it all over the top of the noodles followed up again by adding on a ton of bolognese, coat that sucker all over the place. Gosh, it smells amazing in here. Last but not least, we're gonna sprinkle on a little bit more mozzarella cheese and some grated Parmesan cheese. This looks seriously amazing, you guys. Hit it in the oven on 400 degrees, gonna take in between 35 and 40 minutes for it to brown up and be all done. The noodles are finished. Let's cook it so we can try this out. Boom, the lasagna is finished, and oh my gosh, it looks amazing, it smells amazing. Let's get into this. You guys, seriously, this may be one of my all-time favorites. It's just classic, it's delicious, it's authentic. I don't wanna wait any longer, let's try it out. Oh, dude. Bro, <laughs> oh my gosh, is that good. I don't want to waste any more time. I'm going to want to eat more. We will catch you next week. Don't know what video it is yet, but you know it's going to be dope. See y'all later.